A visibly angry President Emerson Umingagwa yesterday publicly castigated his lieutenants for allegedly playing a bad recording of the national anthem. He later banned them from playing the bad recording at all events he officiates. This occurred during the official handover of vehicles to 100 chiefs in Harare yesterday. A palpably agitated Umingagwa reprimanded his aides just as he had started speaking during the handover ceremony. Before I get into business, that national anthem song that you played, the first one, don't repeat it, Umingagwa said. It was bad. I don't know where you got that recording. Make sure never to play it again. It is not clear why Umingagwa disliked the national anthem recording. Sources said Umingagwa caught his aides by surprise as they had played the same recording at most of the events he officiated. That is the recording that is always used at national events, the source said. This is the first time the president has publicly complained about the national anthem recording. It could be that he was annoyed over something else and he was just venting out his anger. Umingagwa's spokesperson George Karamba was not picking calls when Newsday wanted to reach him for comment. Chief Director for Presidential Communications Anyway Mutambudsi referred questions to Karamba. Meanwhile, Umingagwa has pampered 100 chiefs with the Suzu double cab vehicles. We shall, therefore, continuously pursue such interventions to improve the welfare and general conditions of service for our esteemed chiefs, Umingagwa said. Further, my government will continue to provide medical insurance to our chiefs headmen and village heads from all communal areas. At the same time, the government has put in place a funeral assistance package for chiefs. Chiefs have continued to play a key role in mobilizing support for the ruling party. Last year, election observers and opposition parties accused the chiefs of going against their mandate which bids them to be apolitical. Mningadwa said, Various ministries, departments and agencies have been commissioned to provide additional services and utilities to make the lives of chiefs comfortable. He said these included the construction and maintenance of access roads to the chiefs' homesteads, the electrification of the homes of chiefs, provision of water and sanitation facilities as well as the tillage program. Among other services are equally designed to benefit our communities as a whole. National Chiefs Council President Shane Kumalo said they were humbled by the gesture. The institution of traditional leaders is humbled by the consistent support rendered in respect to the vehicles handed over. Payment of our allowances and medical support and drilling of boreholes at chiefs' homesteads, he said.